Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Pucker Saint and today we are going to be exploring and reviewing one of the newest horse game releases, Stride Away. So during this video, just so you guys know, this is a public server, which is why you can probably see a lot of people, you know, running around and everything. So since this game is a beta, there is no private servers yet and the game currently costs Robux to buy. It, I think it costs 530 something if I remember correctly. So keep that in mind before going on and trying to play the game. So I figure the first thing we'll go over is actually the horse model. So the way you do it isn't like MSE, which is uh, Maple Springs Eventing. They are, this game is made by the same people and it's not like that where you can claim a stable or anything. Instead, you would go in here, the little computer icon, and you click buy horse to get a horse. And all of them are so gorgeous. I am actually gonna get one of these for you guys to see a little bit later on in the video, but I do have a couple to start with, if I can see them. Oh no, they're gone. Like I said, this game is in beta, so uh, it does seem like that's a little bit of a glitch, but that's okay. So I currently have the flea bitten, KWPN, the Tobiano version, and the Light Bay version, so I think all of the horses in this game are adorable. Currently my favorite, probably gonna be the Flea Bitten, to be honest. I love Flea Bins, if you guys uh, didn't know, I absolutely love them. And just from this angle, without any tack or anything, the horses are absolutely adorable in this game. That is definitely one of this game's strongest assets, is the horse models. They they did such a fantastic job. Uh, obviously, because this is beta, the hair and the tail could use some work, but other than that, like the forelock looks pretty good right now as well. So to begin tacking up your horse and customizing them, you would come up here to this little like saddle icon. Something I do wish they would change is either, is like move this big section right here with the colors over here, because it kind of blocks your horse from view, which is a little bit annoying. But basically they have all the different types of saddles you can choose, so English, Western, and then they have a half pad and girth fluff in case you wanted it so we're gonna ride English and here if I can find it ah yeah I don't know how to get that out of the way but you can add fluff to your girth which I think is adorable then you can choose a ton of different saddle pads so I am going to choose the oh uh, I always mispronounce this word Numna I think it is uh, I'm going to put that one on because I do want to show you guys the cross country and hunters jumps that they have which is really cute then we have the breastplate and to equip a bridle you have to equip the base bridle first which looks like this and then you can choose the different nose bands so I'm gonna go with a flash nose band just because I like it uh, best and I'm gonna go with a snaffle bit because those are the ones uh, I have seen most used. Uh, you know what? Let's do a cute little ear bonnet. Ear bonnets are really cute. And to unequip in this game, you just click the um, item again. So let's go with some polo and overreach boots. And then finally, we get to main styling, forelock styling, tails, and extra stuff along with the tail and main color. So for the main, I am going to do plaits, I think all plaited and for the forelock I love the way the extra long looks I think it looks really cute actually I really like the roached as well so I think I might do roached instead now the tail I usually leave normal because it I personally don't really love it any of the other ways if it'll show up so the short I don't mind too much but some of the other ones do look a little choppy for me especially like the full braid I just don't really like so I'm just gonna leave it the normal and you can give your horse feathers which is adorable if your horse is like a cross or something and a tail bow then of course you can change the colors and this is how you change the like saddle pad and accessory colors so i'm gonna go with my trademark light purple and there we go of course you can also change the saddle and bridle colors and breastplate and that type of thing but we don't need to do that right now so there we go there he is all tacked up now the, you can also use the stalls in this game which is really cute i really like this i feel like this game is going to be perfect for role play once it actually um is finished but we can come in here first because this is the western arena so we have, let's see, oh, we do have to come pretty close to the sign. So we have pole bending, barrels, obstacle course, which I have never seen this in real life, but it is super cool looking in an empty arena, which is what I'm gonna go with because I wanna show you guys the gates. So to go up on PC, you have to press W and S to go down. So we'll start with one W, which is kind of like this slow little bop walk, I guess. I don't know what a bop walk is. I don't know, kind of bopping. But I think this is very cute. I like that the horse isn't s really sliding on the terrain. He's actually like moving forward slowly. 
Uh, the tail needs a little bit of work, but that is perfectly normal for betas. And yeah, I think this looks very, very good, honestly. Then we have kind of a slow, relaxed trot. I really like how they move their head around during uh, gates in their ears. It makes it look like the horse is actually alive and doing stuff. Uh, the legs are very, very nice like moving wise, I think they look fantastic. Then we have a bit more of like a fast trot, also very nice, just kind of speeding that gait up. Then we have a slow canter. And this game is different from a lot of other games, I think in the way that when you canter, you can actually like feel the bounce of the horse because the screen moves with the horse, which I really like. Going around, I think this looks very nice as well. Um, the only thing, also spinning needs a little bit of work, but that is fine, of course. Everything I say uh, is just my opinion and it's a beta, so I am honestly not being too difficult, obviously. I don't want to nitpick too much. Here we have more of an extended canner, it looks like. Uh, also very nice. I really like that they made it a point to bring the legs out more, which is nice looking. And finally, the gallop, which does look very nice, honestly. Uh, the only thing I see wrong with this one is that it's kind of like hitting the floor really hard, but that is perfectly all right. I did want to go in first person because I did want to show you guys first person in this game looks amazing. Um, it does kind of give me a headache the way the screen continuously bounces, but you could probably get used to it. And I think this would be perfect for role plays because it would be very realistic to have like a GoPro head cam type look from your horse. Ooh, the gallop looks really cool. All right, the next thing I wanted to really show off in this game is the map because that is another one of this game's strongest uh, assets, I think. The map is gorgeous and it's massive, which is really good because a lot of horse games um, that have this similar style really go for a very shrunken down map and I personally don't like that type of thing when the maps are super small because I, th I think it kind of makes it look like it was made in a rush and that's probably not the impression you want to give. Also we will be going over there but this is the like English hun indoor hunter type area and we'll be going over there in a second but I did want to show off this adorable um, like hunter cross-country area which I think is adorable this um like circle oh my gosh I brain fart moment I totally know what this is called hee ho well anyway I think that's really cute swan jumps adorable where is that little like up log thing oh over there another thing I really want to show off is this because this is a very underused jump in games and I think it's really cute so here we go you can like approach you do your jump, and there you go. I think that's super cute. And there's like, I love how they didn't just reuse the same jumps over and over again. Uh, they kind of spaced it out, which I think is awesome. Coming over here, don't mind me, just absolutely galloping through the woods. So right here, we have a adorable little dressage arena, which I'm not gonna go in because that girl, <laughs> she's using it a little bit right now. But it has all of the letters in place and it's super big as well, which I really like. And then here is the like outdoor jumping arena, which a ton of people are in right now. So again, we have the edit arena. And if you click this, I don't know if I want to change this because these people are using it. Um, real quick, we'll just do it. I want to show you guys. So we have the training course, hunter jumping, show jumping, a medium to high pole work, small training course, and I'm going to change it back for them. Sorry, guys. Uh, all of those are absolutely gorgeous, and they're set up super duper well. So I'm going to come in here, and I actually want to give you guys a little look at the jumping animation, because what this game did, I think, is really unique on what they did with their animation. So as you guys can see, you kind of like approach the jump, and then when you press jump, the horse like, I don't know, the horse AI, the horse programming knows how high the jump is and how far you need to jump. And it does that automatically. So it's not like normal jumping in games. It actually like calibrates how far you have to jump. So it looks good 
pretty much every time unless you're using one of the many animations which I will show you guys now. So up here if you press this like white horse icon it brings up the animations. So obviously there is a ton for rider which I think is fantastic. So you can like t-pose on your horse, uh, you can do some like western type moves, you can fall, I just haven't figured out how to activate that anim animation yet. Uh, but you can lay on the horse's back, you can hug the horse, all of it's super duper adorable. We'll take you to horse, and these are all horse animations. So we have the rear, they can lay down, Piaf, which is super good looking. I was really impressed when I first saw this because the horse looks really like alive. You can see that the ears are moving. A little like pawing animation, hold on, there we go, very cute. It can pose for like a camera. Your horse can fall, so that is another, that's one of the animations I was mentioning earlier where if you go over a jump, you could say your horse fell. Oh, It does take a minute to activate an animation after you go over a jump, which probably needs to be worked on. Oh, oh, other people can see. Oh, that was a question I had, uh, so I was probably annoying those poor people. But there we go, that was a good uh, example of that animation. So yeah, there is just a ton and all of them look amazing. Like, that's so cool. It's so well done, it's so impressive. So now let's go ahead and come in here and I'll show you guys the indoor arena because it is also super duper cool. Here's what it looks like right now. This looks like a show jumping course. So real quick, I'm gonna come out here and see if I can show you guys the other ones. Indoor cross country, that's what it is. And there's the start. I think this looks super cool. The show warm up, which just has a couple little jumps and the medium show jumping course. So let's go ahead and do the indoor cross country because that is what I am kind of dressed for. Hello gates. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so here we go. And then you can go off, do your little jumps. Even if you jump it from way too far, the horse still tries to like get over the jump, which I think is really cool. Go. Yeah. So that's kind of what the, the course looks like. I think that's super duper awesome. The team who works on this has done such an awesome job. Uh, and in case you were wondering what these black and white boxes were, they are picture taking boxes so you can get a nice picture with your horse. Something else I really wanted to show you guys is this. If you click the computer like I was showing you guys earlier, you can actually do horse care. So here we go. If you brush your horse, which I have now a brush, you can brush your horse, which looks much better when you're standing next to them and you get money for doing it. So it's the same as Maple Springs eventing in the way that the longer you play, the more money you have. So I have 2,385, but if I do more of these tasks, uh, I will get more money. So you can buck out a stable and everything, which is super duper awesome. Then you can also buy stuff like horse feed and treats, which is super cute. Now here is probably what all of you guys really wanted to see, which is the buying horses menu. So we have some paint horses here, some Arabians, we have, these are all the warm bloods. Then we have cold bloods, which are the Frisian, we have some Irish cobs it looks like, uh, some Shetland ponies, and some halflingers, which are adorable. I really like this spotted Shetland. I think I'm going to go with this black Sabino because I don't have a black horse yet and I really want to see what they look like. Is there another black horse? Yeah, there's a plain black, but I like the black Sabino. There we go. So now my money went down to six, 610. And if I click my stable, I now see that I have the black Sabino. So here he is. He's short. I feel like he's shorter than my other horse. Is he? Hold on. Do horses have heights in this? Oh no. Okay. I was, I was goofing. There we go. He is pretty. Something I wish we could maybe style in the future is the horse's eyes. Uh, like this horse would be stunning with blue eyes, which I know it would be super rare, but it would be cool. So here I have just hacked him up really cutely. I think this guy's adorable really really cute this would be like a really good dressage horse i personally think so you guys will notice the reason it just got so dark or it did a second ago in my last clip was because it actually started raining so this game already has um weather cycle which is amazing i was really impressed about that because that seems it's such a small detail i think a lot of games forget to include 
quick, I figured we have a little look inside the stable. Aw, and this person looked like they're doing some role play together, which is adorable. So the stables are super duper cute. We have some tacking up stalls. I'm w hoping that eventually when the game is finished, we will actually be able to do more stuff with these items. As you can see, I was almost picking something up through the wall there. We can actually pick up saddles to carry and put on your horse, which is awesome. Cute, cute, cute little grain feeders right here. Uh, a little hallway, probably gonna add something right there if I had to guess. Yeah, that is super duper cute. And in here is a station where you can warm up your horse. I believe it is called a walker. Oh no, <laughs> someone's horse has decided not to walk. Basically, this is a device that is used by people to warm up their horses without actually having to ride them because the thing comes along the back of the horse, kind of having them continue to move and just walk along um, as they go, which is really cool. Those are actually, they have their fly mask and blankets on, which is adorable. Super duper cute. They've both gone into like wild mode, I think. And here is a little round pen. And if we come way over here, there is a super cute little truck you could use for your role play with a cute little German Shepherd on it, which is cute. I don't know how many times I've said cute in this video, probably way too many, but this game like defines horse cute. It's very nice. So real quick, before we start wrapping up, I did want to tell you guys that if you do really love this game, uh, and you would be interested in buying it, I personally would say that it is worth the 500 Robux. It is a ton, obviously. Real quick, I did want to show you guys at least one bay. So here's my Tobiano bay I have bought. Super duper cute as well. The shading in this game is top tier. I love it. But the developer has already said that as development goes on, the game will slowly lessen in Robux until it is free. So it'll be free at the end of the development if you do want to wait. I will probably continue to make Strideway videos um, until it is finished. I would really love to keep doing that. So if you guys do want me to make more videos on this game, uh, feel free to leave a like and a comment. It would really motivate me. With that being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have an amazing day or night. And I hope to see you guys really soon. Bye.